It's early Friday morning, and tomorrow night, my girlfriend and I are having a few friends over for a cookout. That means I better get this peach goza into a keg and start carbonating it if I want to serve it with dinner. When we made this quick sour goza, we added 7 grams of freshly ground coriander and 7 grams of pink Himalayan salt, which made for an awesome base to pair with some peaches I picked up at the farmer's market. After about 10 days on fruit, I'm growing impatient and can't wait to give it a taste. The first thing I need to do is try to purge as much oxygen as I can from the keg. Now, I can start the transfer. The last thing I need to do is pop the top on and flush the headspace with CO2 to try to eliminate any remaining oxygen. While I'm gearing up for a little party this weekend, there's another later this month that you might want to start gearing up for. Oktoberfest is right around the corner and once again, I didn't start lagering months in advance. But I'm not going to let that stop me from celebrating. Fest beer, not to be confused with Oktoberfest beer, is a medium-bodied pale lager that has become the drink of choice at Oktoberfest. It's surprisingly malt forward for its appearance and is supported by moderate hop aromas and flavor. Crack into one of these and you're in for some toasted bread and biscuit up front and then some floral or spicy hops in the finish without too much bitterness. And at about 6% ABV, it won't be long before you're looking for some pretzels and a bratwurst to bring you back to the party. Normally, a beer like this would take over a month to make, but I've only got about a week. Now, let's make some beer. For this beer, I'm using some local spring water and making some minor adjustments to the water profile using calcium chloride and a little lactic acid. While this step isn't necessarily required to make good beer, it definitely helps, especially if you want to make something great. Speaking of something great, I'm using all Weyermann bark malts for this beer. Whoops, overfilled my sparge water, damn it. Anyways. I have 86% Bark Pilsner and 7% each of Bark Munich and Bark Vienna. I'm aiming for an original gravity of 1054, which will put this on the lower end for the style. I'm going with a step mash for this recipe, starting with 20 minutes at 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius. Let's get it going. I'll keep mashing this in until everything is nice and saturated, then I'll start a 20 minute timer. That's 20 minutes. Time to raise the temperature to 152 degrees Fahrenheit or about 67 degrees Celsius. Once we're up to temp, I'll start a 45 minute timer. Okay, we're almost done with this step mash. Time to mash out at 168 degrees Fahrenheit or about 75 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. I'm also going to start recirculating the wort to clear it up a bit.
Okay, that's enough of that. Time to yank these grains and get our boil started. Now that our basket is up and out of the wort, I'm sparging the grains with a couple gallons of water from my gigawort. With that out of the way, it's time for the first hop addition. Here's one ounce of Hollertau Mitzelfra, and our 60 minute timer starts now. We're 40 minutes into the boil and it's time for another hop addition. Here's 14 grams of Hollertau Mitzelfra and we've got 20 minutes to go. With 15 minutes left in the boil, it's time to add the word chiller and a Warflock tablet. Just like that, we're ready to chill. Next stop for this fest beer is an old pinlock keg. That's because I'll be fermenting this thing under pressure. After fermentation, there's gonna be some trube at the bottom of this thing, so I'm installing this floating dip tube. This will allow me to transfer the finished beer and leave the junk behind in the keg. I'm gonna get this thing cooled down and transferred, and I'll show you how it'll spend its time fermenting. For this beer, I'm using WLP 925 high pressure lager yeast and I've got my refrigerator connected to an Inkbird controller set to 55 degrees Fahrenheit or about 13 degrees Celsius. Now that I've pitched the yeast, I'm adding 20 pounds of pressure to the keg so I can dial in my spunding valve by backing down the pressure. This is the first time I've used one of these, so it took me a couple tries to get to my target pressure of one bar or about 15 PSI. Now, I'll just let the temperature climb to 62 degrees Fahrenheit or about 17 degrees Celsius, and it should be completely fermented in roughly one week. More to come. If you like this video, let me know in the comments and consider subscribing so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again soon.